Hello everyone, my name is Peter Hura and I'm an executive director of Arcryo Shipping Company. In this video, I'm going to answer of one of common questions that people usually ask regarding the transportation of biological material. So the question is, what is the temperature of transportation and how do we control that? I guess this question always comes with the connection of the survival of biological material. What needs to be known in advance that the temperature of the survival of biological material is different. It is different for different kind of materials. I mean the lowest temperature rate for keeping survival of biological material is really different for oocytes, sperm and embryos. However, there is some general temperature rate which fits to all of them. It is minus 180 degrees in Celsius. Again, I mean the lowest temperature rate. However, same time, all tanks for transportation biological material are created for keeping survival temperature around minus 192 or minus 196 degrees for some period of time mentioned by the producer. So the temperature rate minus 180 degrees in such tanks usually inform us that the tank has started losing its vapor nitrogen. And this is an urgent signal for the shipping company that the tank has to be delivered to the final destination as soon as it possible, or it has to be charged additionally. The best option to ensure that nothing bad might happen with the temperature during the transportation is to build the logistics with the consideration of maximum temperature holding time of the tank with the rate around minus 192 or minus 196 degrees. And of course, the main thing is using a fully calibrated tank and data loggers with the possibility of recording temperature during the whole trip. And the last but not the least, all devices must be tested before the samples will be loaded to the tank. 